All right, well, I jumped out of school a little bit early today and we headed up north for the third day in a row. Um, we came up to the hospital today to see my grandpa. We've maybe said a little bit about my grandpa um, in vlogs past. He's been on hospice for a little while and he is really not doing well. A little while as in like- As in like two years. Like two years, and I think you're supposed to be on hospice. Six months, Six months or months. less, yeah. yeah. So he's just a fighter, he's hanging on. He's um, a fighter. But he has got some internal bleeding now and I think his cancer spread quite a bit, so he only has uh, maybe a day or two left. So we came up to say our goodbyes to him today. Um, interestingly enough, he is on the same unit that we we're about to go into that Julie and I worked on. Um, when I left to go on a mission for our church, she got a job on this unit, and when I came back, there was a job opening. So I applied. And so I we got worked it. as CNAs together, and then we moved up. I was a nurse, and he was still a CNA doing other stuff. But it's just fun because, like, our first five years of marriage, like, we, we were dating, we got engaged, we were newly newlyweds. Like, we lived up here. Like, we lived, we literally, mm -hmm. like, lived right mm -hmm. here in this mm -hmm. hospital on this very floor. It's where we, like, fell in love with. And Landon even proposed to me in the cafeteria. Oh yeah, we'll show you the cafeteria, the cafeteria where we proposed. <laughs> but so seven years ago, when we were getting ready to move to Missouri, I remember Landon giving his grandpa a hug, and I remember thinking this might be the last time Landon ever sees his grandpa. That was seven years ago. Here we are, still seeing grandpa. Probably the last time for real today. I'm sorry. So. So on the nights that Landon worked or I worked, we had one car and this is what we would do. We would drive up, we would park right there and wait for the other person to come down. I kid you not, I remember like feeling like I should like get out my phone and like record a little clip so many times. I remember telling myself, I wanna record this, like record Landon walking downstairs and getting into the car because I don't wanna forget this. And I never did and I wish I had I that. we have one picture. Don't we have one Maybe. little clip? But I wish I had that footage because yeah. it was just, just like a, a like, like, it was just something that we did when we had one car. Yesterday, mom and dad went and saw grandpa in the hospital, and then this morning. Grandpa and Grandma texted us, Grandpa and Grandma Drew texted us and said that Grandpa died last night. So, we're sad that he's leaving us, but guess what? He's not hurting anymore, he's not bleeding anymore, he's feeling, he's better now. He's coming up to see our Heavenly Father again. So everyone gets back tomorrow and go to the We'll dress. We'll dress up and go to his funeral next week on Monday. On Monday. So we'll get you out of school. But we want you guys to know that the grandpa, the grandpa, when we, when someone dies, we say they passed away. That's the nice way to say it. When we say our prayers, we can pray for grandpa and grandma, Daru and great grandma. She lost her husband, so we want to pray for them to be comforted. Okay. Our Father in heaven, we're grateful for this day. We're grateful for all the blessings we have. And we're especially grateful for our family and for all that we can do for each other and all that we, the love that we have for each other we're grateful for great grandpa Daru and the, le the legacy he left for us we pray that we will remember him and pray for grandpa and grandma Daru and all of their siblings as well as great grandma Daru So last night we had Landon's grandpa's viewing and today is the funeral and so my mom is being kind enough to watch Lucy so that we can enjoy the meeting and usually funerals, I mean they're sad, they are sad, but I also 
also think of funerals as like a joyous occasion oh, they're to, fun. they're fun to see cousins that you haven't seen in so long. Landon was able to visit with so many aunts and uncles and cousins that he hasn't seen in a long time. Um, so when the person who is dying is old and has lived a good long life, this has been a really joyous occasion for us. Well, especially for grandpa, I mean he's, he served in the army, he started and ran several businesses, but more importantly like like his entire obituary was like three pages long that of just long. all of the things he did to just help other people. I'm like, that is what I want my obituary to be. It so was such a selfless man. It was like all service. Like he's taken Thanksgiving dinner to um, the homeless shelter like for so many years and gosh, there were just so many things. The very first memory I ever have of him was when we first started dating. He won the Hometown Hero oh, Award. Yeah. Was that what it was on like yeah. the 4th of July? So he went through the 4th of July parade and we all cheered for him and he was up there crying. Yeah. Do you know that I wanted to go to that parade with you but we had both worked a night shift. Oh yeah. You did the sleeping part of the night shift. Yeah. I stayed awake during the night shift and you wouldn't let me go because you wanted me to sleep. And you said, you work tonight, she said, you need to go home and go to sleep. I was like, but I want to no, go to your grandpa's view. <laughs> and I listened to you. Well, you should have been more stern. I guess if we would have known each other better, you would have known that you just have to push me a little bit. That's right. gather here today at this gravesite to pay honor and respect to our departed comrade, Alan Gray. gathering for a family picture. This has happened only once in the last 20 years and I imagine the next time we take a big one like this, it's gonna be when we do the same thing for grandma. So this is the legacy and the posterity that grandpa left behind. This is really a fun activity for us today. Um, we're gonna be able to spend some more time here eating some lunch and visiting with family members. And what a joyous occasion to celebrate grandpa's life. So thank you so much for being part of our day today. Um, it's a heart-wrenching and, and joyful day at the same time. So we're going to snap a picture and we're going to call it a day there for you guys. Thank you.